put them in the budget. One is the $100,000 technology article for the school, which I'll put on a separate line. Um, there's an article for the, um, the um, seating at the bleachers, the bleachers at uh, Fuller Field. We're going to put that in the capital improvement budget. There was a $7,500 uh, air conditioning. Remember, we only did half over the library last year. That was put in. And $3,000, uh, the, the Fuller Field Commission was uh, working on getting some people together to put up a scoreboard. So that was all put in the budget so that it would not be an article. Um, hmm? It eliminated. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, still going to be a long meeting. Still going to be a long meeting. So that's, you know, four, four articles we won't, right. won't have. Uh, there was some discussion on on the um, downtown project, and uh, you know if this committee pro approves the article or not, I can't say that. But the way it's going to be structured is that when me and Bob talked, three million dollars was going to come on the the, the dump enterprise fund. We are going to borrow a million and a half subject to grants, and as Mac told us, as uh, Bill told us, scratch. maybe a million dollars in grants on that project. One of the articles they brought up that we didn't really discuss is they have an article for fixing the roads, something near and dear to Ellen's heart. Well, we, I would imagine it's probably near and dear uh, to everybody's heart. We started at five hundred thousand dollars. It may go up before we get it. Uh, I spoke to this. I, I met with fire, police, and DPW. DPW wants to do Berlin Street, and he thinks it's going to be more than five hundred thousand. And that's going to be a discussion for the selectmen tomorrow night. But again, we'll have a chance to approve that. Thursday night, we're going to go through all the articles. Um, we had a discussion on the generator for the middle school, whereas we don't know what we're going to do with the middle school, and there's a probability that it could be 80% reimbursed if we do a big rehab. I, I'm hoping they table that article because that's the way I see it. I'm not going to put uh, $100,000 in there when two years from now we might have a $3 million rehab, 80% approved by the, mm -hmm. by the, by the uh, state, and they reimburse us. Was there anything else exciting there, Bob? No. That's about it. The uh, downtown project, is it going to be subject to getting grants? Conditional on getting It's not going to be conditional on getting grants. But again, we can go back. Because remember, there may be uh, approximately $6, $6 million dollars transferred from the uh, that enterprise fund. So when you say the downtown project, are you just specifically talking the lights and the... You weren't here for the downtown project? Yeah, no. It's a whole... Just the lights Who wasn't here for the downtown project? Um, just the lights yeah, and the... Yes. What do you mean yeah, by streetscape? Okay, so let me give you all what I have. Some of official stuff. I gave it all in the best copy, of course. Well, I don't mean. Um, okay, oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so right. what's going on? This, this, okay. What's going on with the downtown? Basically, is they originally went in to they wanted to fix the lights downtown, and that's that's what the committee was set up for. My understanding, it really wasn't set up for that, but that's what they told me. That they to do that. Uh, it was set up to look at downtown and downtown oh, he revitalization. Back. I don't know why, but. Yeah. I, I spoke to Chris at length about it. You know, uh, if they had to do the lighting there, they would have had to put two trenches on both sides of the street, go right down the middle, tear up a whole bunch of asphalt and, <coughs> uh, asphalt and sidewalk, and then put new poles up, new, new stuff, everything else, and then go back and patch it together. And I don't think that works in downtown situation. No. When they came in to do a presentation last week, one of the keys was, you know, that, that's what they would have had to do. So um, the budget's around three, eight, four million dollars right now. There's some management and all that other stuff that's got to do. So when they came in and did the proposal, they showed us a plan on the lighting, LED lighting. Who's they? Uh, the man, the uh, design company. Oh, okay. And they showed us that how they can adjust the lights to every area in town by putting more LEDs in them. Yeah. Uh, I was very impressed with that. I've never seen it before, but it looks fancy. They've done a lot of these big projects. So the only difference between this project or doing a scale back would be not going down to bare earth to start. In other words, regrind the road and start. 
Now, my understanding, I talked to Chris today, there'll be six inches of asphalt in that road when they finish. So it's that kind of a project. They're going to strip it all the way down to the bottom. They're going to fix the drainage problems they have. They're going to do all the sidewalks, all the lights. Well, I would hope that we would, if we're going to do it this time, we would do it right. We would do it right. We, we've had three projects down there. All of them had tremendous failures. Um, there's no brick in this project that I know of on the, on the ground, which yeah, is a big thing. Some. They do have some trees. They won't be there. You're keep those bump outs, huh? They're keeping the bump outs, yeah. Are they actually adding, adding bump outs in some, some cases? No, I don't think so. Where's that? Like down, if you look at the little, we're mm -hmm. in front of Abishans or to the, to, to the right of Abishans where the bump out is in front of the theater. Yeah, they're going to leave that. And then it looks like these are additional. Oh, why? I don't know what that is, but I, I didn't ask that close a question. But of course, if we, you'd like to go to that meeting next week, I'll make sure that you can be there. No, I'm good. Yeah, we, we. I didn't get much into the design. They've been working on it about six or seven months. And, and I, realistically, if we were going to do the, here's, here's what happened. If, if you were going to do the lighting, you'd have to put two big trenches in, tear the whole place up. So what would you accomplish? Right, but are we going to, is the road going to be actually wider? Uh, that's, the design is not up to us. So I don't know that. I would say no. Ellen, Ellen, okay, but there's a problem with the traffic on the road in the parking. I mean, well, why would we keep those bump outs? If you look at Ellen, I, I asked. Pardon? That, if you look at the intersection where the where the where the uh, bank is, it looks like that they they have um, expanded bump outs in those areas. Maybe that's just a different color for a different reason, but yeah. it, it might be lighting. Well, those those are the lights, yeah. the round things. I don't I think, think they added any bump outs. And I asked him specifically about the bump when they came in because I don't like them. He says they're going to leave them for delivery. But why? Why? I mean, if we don't like them, and it's going to cost four million bucks. Why don't we find out? Yes or no? Because right. we're, we're not designing the project. We're financing the project. We have other people that are on that. <laughs> but design. we don't agree right. with the financing yeah. of the project. I, 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 agree, I, I agree. I agree 100. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't like the bump outs, but I'm not designing the project. Nor did I sit there for those 30 meetings to go through them or 40 meetings. So this is the design they come up with. I mean, we can certainly disallow it. Are you picking your battles, are you? I'm not going to pick my battles. I don't design projects. That's not what we do. I know, but we can question it. Because if we're going to be spending all this if money. If you were here the last meeting. The, but the problem we with. We didn't have a meeting. The problem with the high street the right now are, are, is the bump outs. Well, I can certainly try to bring some. I mean, if we're going to spend the, millions of dollars on fixing high street, we need to make it I'm more accessible. Out, we don't do the management of that project. I understand that. Nor do we do that. the construction, nor do we design it. All we say is, is the project worthwhile to the But design. it doesn't mean we can't push back, Jim, who's on... The, um, who's the driving force? The design. Well, we've had a committee. Money. Uh, Mike Tukoinski has been on that committee for a couple of years to get lighting done. And this was a lighting downtown project. They've come up with this, and again, the only extra I know is bringing the, the grade down to perfect and starting over. The rest is all the same stuff. But again, I didn't design it. I'm not questioning the design. You can. And you're more I than am. welcome. You're more than welcome. And I I'm am. Glad I just don't understand why we would spend all this money because on something that is going to look or be ex very similar to what we have today, which doesn't work. I, I don't think anything's going to work to anybody's satisfaction, but we have no, a I committee that sat that. down there 30 times and worked on it. I can't. It's not my job. All I can say is we're going to have to either finance the project or not. I've given you some parameters that we've set forth. And again, I'm willing to try to get them back Thursday if we want to talk to them before we vote on the article. I can bring like Phil back. back. What? I'd like to see him back on Thursday. Me too. Okay, I would ask. It is Tuesday. Yeah. Again, I think Phil will come in, but we might not get the engineers. Yeah, I can't be here Thursday. I'm going to be down in New York. Yeah. Okay. But I'm pointing out to you, the project's the project. I'm not going to tell them not to have bump outs. Or not. I asked them about bump outs, actually. But I'm pointing out to you, our job is to say, is this a good project to move forward for the town? No, not if it's going to be the same, well, I, I from think, my perspective. Well, it, may it may be brand new, but it's still going to be downtown Clinton, whatever we do with it. Jim, how much is in the Enterprise Fund? Uh, there's, I think there's $4 million in it, and they're going to put another $6 million in. Uh, there might be two and a half, or, and they're going to put in six this year, million. So. It, it I'm just saying, enough. wouldn't that, wouldn't that, wouldn't the selectmen have a vested interest if we're going to spend all this money 
to fix our downtown, which we all would agree, I would think, that it not, does need some help. I, I just don't the understand. The selectmen do have a person on that why, why would Why we would agree to have it look similarly to what it is today when it, it, it's a problem today. Well, listen, I don't think we could make it look like New York City, so. Jim, I'm, I'm not you. saying that. I'll point no, out to like, you. think you're talking about just the flow. I mean, it's, it's, listen, right. but, but that's not our point. You're right, at, you're, right. What you're saying I mean, is, you, you're I, saying should is been, you, I should have been on the committee and put my two cents in. That's not no, our position no, here. No. The question is, will the make project a worthwhile project? That's a consideration. Right. As presented, will it be managed properly? Where is the money coming from? That's what we should be asking. And, and I'll ask who, who's the driver of the well, we've had a committee, Chris McGowan's on it, uh, Bill Duffy's on it, Mike jacoinski has been a big person in regard to getting lighting downtown. And again, we had a presentation, I brought him in. Right. I did ask him a question about the bumper, because I hate him too. But I they just, they don't make any, I just don't understand why we would keep it, it's an issue today, so why would we want to keep it the uh, same? Listen, I think I can get Phil in here for our meeting on Thursday to go over that stuff. And then we can make a decision. It may, maybe, t you know, like I said to you, it's, uh, I can't go up on town floor and say I don't think it was designed right, I don't like it. That's not well, my I'm not job. suggesting that we do that, but I, I, all I'm suggesting uh, is if we could. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll point to you is I'll have at least Phil here for that meeting, hopefully one of the engineers, and I will have. Okay? Then we'll go over. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have those? Uh, Would you like them back? No, no, I want you to memorize all those numbers. Can I buy all that over <laughs> there? This? <laughs> Yeah, if you can read it. If I can read it, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, yeah. I mean, I, that's what I took in scratch. Um, one of the things that I gave you the other night was a letter from Wheat. Um, uh, we basically had a discussion with the selectmen who going to increase their, their article to from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. She has a, like an eight page letter that she gave me. She wanted one thousand. Yeah, no, she did it. She asked mm -hmm. for twenty, we gave her twenty. Uh, the senior tax over uh, tax rebate program. Um, the selectmen felt that they were going to bring that up to thirty thousand from fifteen. I don't think we had a problem with that. What's that? The senior tax? Um, what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. It's rebate. It's yeah. It's rebate. Yeah. We doubled it. Yeah. And the only discussion we had on DPW resurfing money, we kind of agreed on five, but I think we left it open a little bit, Bob. For what? So they're going to, they want to, Chris McGowan hasn't put in how much he wanted for resurfacing roads. In addition, he's going to take it out of that enterprise fund. We discussed a half million, but I think that number is going to change because he has a specific project he wants to do with Burlington. Street. So that number wasn't available when I talked to him today. And again, it's coming out of that enterprise fund. I try to explain to him the enterprise fund is the town's money, not the mm -hmm. money. So, there may be other things we want to do, but, you know, again, I think that nobody can complain that we need the roads first. Is there a, a priority set up in terms of what roads need to be done first? He usually He's sets a pretty good system down there, and I think it's... He's want to he wants to fix all the roads coming into town first, and he works his way out. That's basically what he's been doing. And they got Water Street, Main Street. So, so there is a plan on... The priorities of yeah, the roads and in Clinton. Major streets first. Because yeah. when I asked in the meeting that we had with him, there didn't seem to be that answer. So do, do we do have a plan? He does have a plan. Okay, good. Not that we know of it, but he does have a plan. Okay. So there was a few things that I think that we should, uh, and again we can go over these the other night, but I'm just going to go superficially over. I intend to. Uh, you know, finance the dump truck, at least my contention is, is to do it out of free cash. There's a public uh, record software. Uh, I don't know if I've explained this to you, but the police department has a very antiquated software that talks to the fire department back and forth. Exactly what they talk about, I'm not absolutely sure, but it has to do with information. The fire department has, has, in, has bought new software and it costs quite a bit of money to tie it into this old software for the police. The police, in effect, the younger guys hate it. It just doesn't do what they want it to do. So there's an article in here for uh, two hundred and two hundred thousand dollars to buy that software. Are we on this list? 
How much? Two hundred thousand dollars. What's the lifespan of the new software? I have no idea, but the old software has been there almost twenty years. This is. That's just the town, right? Uh, both the police chief and the fire chief have talked to him personally. They, they feel the police chief can get by with his software, but the fire department doesn't want to hook up to it. And again, that's mostly the selectmen, they manage those departments, and you know, I'm telling you what I know. Um, and uh, that's about it for now. Okay. Let's go over the budget. Uh, I'll go over some highlights of the stuff that's changed. Then a few numbers that went back and forth. Uh, of course, the moderator is not a big deal, but let's go to selectmen. Uh, they informed me that last year I cut their their uh, selectmen other expenses by a thousand dollars. They asked for it back. I did not have a problem with it. As you can see, our reserves up to two hundred this year, and uh, I think that's. Probably 50 short than we need, but it's adequate in our situation. Board of Assessors, I don't see any real changes from what we talked about. A treasurer. Oh, one other thing. In the Selectman's budget, I put the town, town hall heat, light, and power. It's the only number left in, would have been the only number left in town hall building management. Mike puts together the bill and pays it anyway, so that's where I put it. Okay. Parking fines, town solicitor, nothing's really changed, town's clerk. Conservation board, we talked about that the other night. Planning board, zoning board, Massachusetts, economic development. Town manager, again, all those, pro all those things went somewhere else. Miscellaneous, we really went over it. Fire department, we went over that the other night. We just go back to the town hall building. Yeah. The custodian salary, I thought they were going to go into the facilities manager. They did. That's why it's not there anymore at the end. Gotcha. And again, all, all, his, all his bills were for, yeah. the, for a custodial. That's what it is. We have the miscellaneous stuff, insurance and miscellaneous. The police, we went over that. We've added to overtime. Again, we took out their maintenance and their... Uh, before you've seen this, the maintenance and the uh, cleaning were in his budget. Now they're over into facilities. Fire department, we talked about overtime. Basically, all the other numbers stayed relatively the same when we took his repair budget and put it into facilities. Building inspector stayed the same. Gas, seal or weights, electrical inspector. Emergency management. I took the $4,500 out of this account and put it into the facilities account. The animal control, we basically touched that. The school, these are the final numbers. And again, I took technology and textbooks and put it in as a line item, and we can pull that out next year if we so desire. Uh, I think this number is 4.9 with that $100,000 in there, so we've probably done pretty well with them. Uh, Department of Public Works, uh, after a long and exhausting discussion with Mr. Conley, we decided to go up $100,000 on snow and ice. Uh, and again, I went over that budget with Chris. Cemetery is no longer there, that's in facilities. Board of Health, basically the budget they wanted, subject to payroll. Council on Aging, I haven't went over to see her, but this is basically what she gave us. Veterans, as you know, we have an additional $20,000 in there for some of the Weedabex employees that may be laid off, veterans. The library, again, I pulled out those numbers for repairs and the custodian. Parks and Rec, I have went over this budget with her superficially. That's why there's some central park expenses in here and some Pack miscellaneous expenses for stuff like uh, porta potties. They have certain advertisement they do for these certain events in the park, and they wanted to leave them there. And that, that was the 6,800 and the five grand. Full Field Commission. Um, what we've done with the Full Field Commission, uh, Matt had asked for $3,000 for a uh, partial payment on a scoreboard. Uh, scoreboard he's trying to put together with a few groups that use it. 
Uh, we left him with some miscellaneous money in his heat, light, and power. And there was an article for 28.5 for, for the bleachers down there. And as I explained to you earlier, we decided to put that in the capital pool project so we wouldn't have an article for it. So again, full field commission will be run by Russ. I mean, the full field commission will instruct Russ on what he wants to do on, you know, how they want that place to take care of. It's, it's up to Russ to keep them happy. Hey, this is the new facilities department. I do have a breakdown of payroll for the schools, but uh, a lot of them were put together. I have a format. I didn't bring it with me that I took all the budgets and then times and times uh, 4 percent gave them that money to work with. And this is what we come up to, except for equipment and capital improvements. Those are extra. The request for equipment was 325 originally, and their capital improvements was 300. So those numbers were cut down in the discussion phase with their, with Mike and uh, Steve from the school. Okay, so the, you have these other expenses here. The ambulance fund uh, is a $50,000 uh, charge in there for uh, uh, additional medical for for the the uh, ambulances, water and sewer, rubbish, landfill. Let's go to the second to last page. So again, a couple things. Real estate taxes, as we discussed, two and a half. There's some increase in growth. Since the last meeting, you see the meals tax revenue. That's that additional money that we voted on and pushed through last year. That may change a little bit before we end, but we're putting in $62,000 for now. We believe it will be higher. And uh, I added an additional $37,000 thousand dollars to chapter 70 educational aid we might even think it'd be higher we took the lower the two figures the, first we took the governor's figure then the house and the senate have figures we took the house figure which was thirty seven thousand dollars higher than the um, the governor's figure and we figure it's going to be somewhere in between but we're going on a conservative approach with that uh, overlay in regard to overlay, we added $100,000 taking out of overlay this year for snow and ice. So right now we have approximately $42,000 that we'll use towards some of the additional articles that we have, and that's what we're going to do. The reason we don't do them tonight is because the suckmen have to approve them and put them on the wall. Then we can act on them. When are they going to do that? Tomorrow? Tomorrow night. That's why we're meeting Thursday. I am going to give this budget to Mike unless, you know, anybody's got any concerns and let's go over them right now uh, and start him the process of making it look pretty for our, our, our public hearing next, next Wednesday. The human resource position, is that gone through the personnel board? Yes. Uh, they're down to, I think, two people. You know? uh, they had over, over 30 applicants. Some were through. Don't, don't they? application period, but uh, there's two or, or possibly three that they're down to. When they plan to get started? Um, I, I would say July 1. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are they going to be housed? Didn't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> the conference room. <laughs> Probably. Is there not an office here? I mean, they're going to be, I mean, aren't they both yeah. school in here? Uh, I, I didn't ask that question. question. That's a logistical problem. Yeah, Wednesday. 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 Yeah, but we have to vote on this budget? No, mm -hmm. we'll vote on it. You know, um, we have to put the articles in. So we probably won't vote on it until after the public hearing. Um, but this is, these are the numbers that I feel are best represent the use of the, best use of the town's money. I mean, could I have nickel and dime some people here? Yes. Uh, with, with the Chapter 70 money and the increase in taxes, 
We're, we're in a position where with the release of the debt and a few other things that it has been the worst year we've ever had. I try to be conservative because I do not want to create a problem where I don't have the money next year to pay the same expenses as this year. Um, I think I highlighted all the stuff that I know. Uh, I mean, again, some of the revenue might be able to go up a couple pennies. We could cut some other expenses, but it's a budget, and I think it's a reasonably represent what we talked about the last 10 meetings. So um, I'm willing to listen to anybody on anything right now because this is the time. And again, getting rid of the articles, I don't like to put it in the budget, but I, I don't want to sit through 53 articles. And, right. you know, uh, and you know, some of them are $7,500, $10,000. You know, let's make the decision to move on. Chickens. <laughs> and we've talked about the bleachers down at Fuller Field too much. Yeah. And it, this is a bleacher that's handicap accessible, rolls in and out, five high. Uh -oh. Okay. Any other questions, concerns, any new business? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, thank you. I would like to have the meeting adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you Barry, for taking those notes. Yes. We're getting better all the time. Very good. <laughs> very good. I hope